all right how's it going guys it is uncle bob and welcome to the channel welcome back we are here far far later than i should ever be doing these it is 8 30 at night and um yeah i usually do these around like 11 in the morning but uh today our time management was not all that it should be so we are um we had to do something different today so uh, i apologize for the glare let's face it um there's no audio or video anywhere here the title of the video says watch along this is a companion piece video you don't even need to worry about the glare maybe just if it's at night just turn the brightness down a little bit that might help you but um yeah last time we uh had the guys in the middle of g8 and they um the crew is still all kind of off meandering doing their own things um well i mean i guess not all their own uh sanji and luffy were just kind of chilling and doing meals and other things hold on all right my bad um yeah, it just got really loud all of a sudden. I was seeing what was going on, what all the hubbub was about. And there was no hubbub about nothing, which is uh, exactly how I like it to be. But, um, yeah, no, uh, Sanji was teaching the crew of the G8, the cooks, a thing or two about a thing or two. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was funny that, when, you know, Sanji was taking a very stoic stance against the, the woman that she was... Um, that was running the kitchen and as soon as she was like you know what you're a part of the team he went right back to like normal old normal old sanji mode Ooh, try not to sneeze oh don't sneeze all right what episode is this even obviously you can see it in the title 198 that's the episode all right um yeah since i stopped doing that midway through um this is very disjointed. Yeah, this is episode 198, um, no audio or video, uh, companion piece. This is to watch it together, me and you, homies, pals. Uh, that's how we're going to do it, because I am not playing with copyright or anything like that. That is just not... I am not in the biz of doing such things, because I just I don't need to be about that right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to get 198 started, because I got to kind of... Got to kind of move it along here today. So usually I might talk a little bit more. But I mean, this is a filler arc. So like, what, is it, what does it matter? Um, but we watch it anyway. We always do. So next episode, guys. Let's start it. Three, two, one, go. All right, we got the hat, the swords, Usopp's gear. Thanks, Nami. Chef. Mm, mm, mm. Hearing the main character in a in an intro is really weird. Seems very early two thousands. Even though I couldn't tell you if there was actually another show that did that. Some early 3D animation. Yeah, and I'm guessing having the light off wouldn't work, would it? I can't reach. That wasn't plugged in. I guess if I were closer, it could work. But yeah, we're not going to do that. I did that a couple times when I was in my car. When I just didn't have the space, like right when we first moved. I remember there was one episode of One Piece. I did it like three in the morning because I had been moving and was just so stressed that I was like, listen, you know what would make me feel better right now? As exhausted as I am, One Piece. It is kind of wild to look at like the playlist you know, on my channel of all the episodes that, you know, I've done up to now and to see where I've been like in the background, like to see all the different houses, you know, actually it was only two before this, but you know, a few months at one.
few months at one house, a year at another. Oh yeah, Nami's hiding. Luffy got his fill of food, so he's good. Zoro's imprisonment and Chopper's emergency operation. Oh, is Chopper going to be the best of boys? He's a cute little guy. Is he going to try to whatever interrogation methods he wants, huh? He leaves it up to you? Mm -hmm. And all he is is tired. He doesn't even care. <laughs> They have to have a whole squad of guys just sitting there watching him. And they put his swords in another cell. Smart. Smart. <clears throat> oh god I hope he tries to just beat the living hell out of Zoro and it just doesn't work his name is still so Roro Nora Invading by way of the sky was a commendable tactic. <laughs> Let's face it, your story sounds ridiculous. We rode a floating octopus. A balloon octopus. Oh, really? He's just grinding his fists on his forehead. I don't think you seem like the interrogation type. Maybe you are. Maybe you're hiding something from me. <laughs> Gotta clean out the dojo. towel real quick Gross. I missed a couple lines but Chopper's just chilling in barrels. It's on some solid snake type shit. I have no idea if that's the correct character to reference for the Metal Gear Solid games. I've never played... Well, I played one for the NES, like the original. My cousins used to have it.
Chopper could just knock the hell out of all of them if he just transformed. <laughs> the Tanuki's over here. One second, hold on, hold on. Pause. I'll take forever. It'll take forever to search this place. Pause right there. Pause right there. Oh no. One second. Alright, my bad guys. Let's get back started. Just catering to my son. It'll take forever to search this place. Okay, three, two, one, go. And then it just changed. Click clack. Hmm. Looking. Looking one way. Uh-huh. Was that a decoy? Chopper has to be smarter than that. My forehead is glistening. That almost sounds like Zoro's voice actor. I don't think so. Oh, antlers for medical supplies. Makes sense. Oh, so Chopper's going to end up helping. Is he going to stay hidden or is he going to like... Oh, he might be able to work with her. Does blood make her faint? Just has the log pose just on her wrist. I don't know why you would change into a nurse outfit. You should have just stayed. Oh, she's a pediatrician. She's the only doctor on staff. <coughs> oh, is he gonna ratatouille yet? Do do boo do boop 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 boop. Is that what's gonna happen? Is he gonna have to do his own little Remy thing? Well, not cooking. Bro, if you were looking for the going Mary, you should have just stayed in the janitor suit. Oh. Uh, 
what is that? Hemophilia? Oh, stop trying to sneeze. Look at him just taking charge. And as soon as they get suspicious, look at that. Do you guys all understand? Go. Chopper taking charge, my boy. Look at that. Chopper's gonna have to crack her into shape. a marine base and you have a doctor who can't see blood some tsunami sh shit but she is a pediatrician Nope, he's not going to leave until he fixes this situation. Oh, this isn't a story you heard. This is, that's the story of Hinoluk. There you go, Chopper. Chopper says, put on your big girl boots. They're made for walking. No, the point isn't the soccer, you fucking idiot. Wait, what? <laughs> Dr. Chopper. We got that violin playing. <laughs> there we go. Somebody put a broomstick in her her fucking lab coat gave her a little doctorine would be angry with me oh the 
Doctor Strange. Obviously, you don't want to be touching shit with your hands. Even with gloves on. That's the entire point of the gloves. They're sterile. standing right above it. Oh, but we don't get to see the cut. That's a lot of suction, it looks like. Gotta have the sweat dab. An unidentified... Okay, so they did notice. Yeah. Sorry. Oh boy. There you go. Got some stitches in there. That looks like the looks like a face under the mask. Damn, Mr. Tanuki. Listen, Chopper helped her out. She don't care. And the old man is just going to hear about, like, unidentified cooks and unidentified doctors. He's going to be like, eh, they're saving lives. What am I going to do? But why don't we just leave? <laughs> Turns with the hearts in the eyes, this motherfucker. I just finished. Yep, and he's about to walk in. All right, to be continued. Uh, that is it, guys. I gotta get going. I gotta mosey on along, but there ain't much to talk about. So, until next time, peace.